Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And if you love these kind of videos where I report on the watch community news, please hit like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And also, if you're interested to in joining the Bobby Legs YouTube group, there should be a join button right underneath the video that you are watching right now. And in there you have access for a small monthly fee, access to a community discord where we talk about watches, we share pictures, we give each other advice. And also occasionally once a month or so, I do some giveaways, which uh, it's either watches or watch swag. So let's move on to the news. And yeah, Porsche Design. Is coming out with the Chronograph 1 to 50 years 911 Turbo Edition. Now, if you're familiar with Porsche design and Porsche cars, well, there's also Porsche design and they've been making watches oof, for a long time now, for almost 50 years about, right? And so you have the 50th anniversary, actually, of the true icon of the nine, uh, uh, the wheels here, the 911, and, uh, and a watch that goes along with it. Uh, very, very distinct designs with Porsche designs often copied. I can think of the Zin 144 uh, is a very similar looking uh, piece as some of the typical chronograph designs you see from Porsche design. Uh, just a great looking piece here. Uh, let's get, oh, let's talk about some specs. We have, uh, it is powered by the caliber uh, WERK, the work. 01.240 proprietary moon and based on the value 7750 architecture uh, 44 hertz and stores up to 48 hours of power reserve while it's a uh, precision in chronometer um certified by by cosk by cosk yeah uh let's get right into the specs 40 a little over 40 millimeters case diameter 15 and a half millimeter uh high the titanium case with black titanium carbide coating, glass bead blasted, titanium screw down crown, sapphire crystal with seven fold AR coating, sapphire case back, 100 meter water resistance for a nice little touch. Black matte dial with white marking, day date function. You have the red chronograph hand, inner flange for the tachometer. We discussed the movement. It comes on the textile leather strap. Beige with turbo logo and Velcro loop attachment. Additional titanium bracelet with black titanium carbide coating and a folding clasp. About 500 pieces it looks like it's limited to. You can get them at Porsche Design Stores or uh, online boutiques. And you're looking around just over $10,000 for this piece. Very, very nice. Like it in the black bracelet, but also I kind of like that strap. Yeah. And there you go, the case back there uh, with the Porsche design and what looks like a rim, rim, right? A wheel rim for sure. Titanium, as you could see back there. And it's numbered in the back. Nice looking piece. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Introducing Titanium IWC's Pilot Watch Mark 20 Patrouille Suisse. You know, uh, these these brands with the, with these fancy names uh, is really exposing my uh, inability to speak in other language, which is not 100% accurate. I, I, I grew up in Puerto Rico. Uh, my mother was Puerto Rican. Uh, after we came back to the States, I would visit Puerto Rico every summer. My Spanish is unbelievable. The accent is unbelievable. You couldn't tell that I was not a local. Um, why? Why are they not more Spanish watchmakers? Um, because I, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Uh, I love German watches. I can't pronounce three quarters of them. Uh, Patri Suisse. My wife has French family. I, I, I my accent is terrible. Uh, meet the first titanium version of the Mark Twenty, and it and it comes in a monochrome attire. Sitting alongside the very big pilot, 50, oh, geez, that big pilot, that, that's such a huge watch. I mean, I, my buddy Ryan, who's got a, a wrist size just around mine, he rocks one of those and he loves it. Man, that thing is huge. I, I've tried it. It's 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 just, it, it just looks like a big old dinner plate. Um, but if you 
rock it, you rock it, right? Uh, uh, the less big pig pilot, pilot 43, which is, which I've tried on as well. And it's probably on the upper limits of size that I could probably put on wrist and without looking like a cartoon. Um, the Mark 20 is the latest generation of watch. That is a true essence of tool for aviators in a reasonable size. Okay. And it's part, uh, it gets its pedigree back from the dirty dozen of early Mark series. Um, it's been modernized and updated over and over since the nineties becoming the current Mark 20. It used to be available in stainless steel only, but this I believe is a titanium. Uh, the tribute to the Petru Suisse, Swiss patrol. I guess, Swiss Swiss Patrol planes. Um, a full matte titanium case. There you go with a monochromatic look. Long line of the lineage in the Mark series uh, since the early 1990s where I started the Mark 12, um, which originated during wartime and was commissioned by the Ministry of Defense replacing the Mark 18. There was no Mark 19 for no reason. Now, I just wonder why there was no Mark 19. Nobody knows. The Mark 20 is a thinner and a shorter piece. Five-day power reserve. Wow. Sunray brush. Uh, look, at, Very nice looking piece. Look, I mean, that's a nice pilot watch for sure. Um, very nice. You have the tribute there in the back. Um, sure, it will fit a lot of wrists. Let's check it out. A 40 millimeter case diameter. Nice 10.6 uh, millimeter case thickness, so a very thin watch. I believe I read somewhere it said 49 millimeter uh, lug to lug, which will fit again a lot of wrists, right? I mean, if you're if you're like six and a half and under, eh, maybe might be might be pushing it. Uh, six definitely pushing it. Sunray brush slate dial AR coating, 100 meter water resistance, another 100 meter, very nice, nice touch. Uh, caliber 32111, the manufacturer Valfourier. Automatic 21 joules, 120 hour power reserve, limited to 250 pieces, and you're looking at 7,000 7, euro, 6,300 Swiss francs. Good looking piece. And finally, uh, some industry news. Chanel takes a 25% stake on independent watchmaker NBNF. Now, this is not the first go around with these uh, ultra high end luxurious independent watchmakers. Chanel has taken stakes in uh, FP Journ and Romain Gautier. And it's not just specific to Chanel. Uh, LVMH has revived the likes of Daniel Roth. You know, these, these companies, LVMH and Chanel, these are huge, huge companies here. I mean, and, and the, the guy from LVMH, the 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 head he i think he's one of the richest guys in the world these guys know something these guys are smart and they've been taking uh they've been involved in the watch industry for for a long time but now recently more so they've seemed to have stepped up and picking up pieces of some of these independent watchmakers they know something right i mean like these these brands are mostly known for for some jewelry for 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 bags uh accessories and they're taking uh, positions on these ultra high-end um, industries. It makes me think, you know, where where they see the future here. Uh, you know, the economic the world. You know, um, the the economics of the world are, are a little bit tricky right now. Uh, there is high inflation, um, and uh, you know, the gap between the rich and the poor supposedly is getting wider and wider and these guys are focusing on really ultra high end uh, pieces so it's interesting to see where they see uh, overall economic conditions going um, and hey you know they're they make a lot of money and they're definitely smarter than me so anyway guys let me know what you think about these releases and latest industry news please put a comment below and I will see you in the next video take care